Now, before any of you eagle-eyed viewers take notice, yes, I played seafood on the easy difficulty mode, but only because well, I just suck at these types of games in general and will take any and all the help I can get. I gotta be honest with that. Anyways, bro, Sifu. How can a game be both frustrating but enjoyable at the same time? Like, I can't remember the last time I've been this invested in someone else's revenge story. <laughs> Even if, well, I'm kind of the one who also started this revenge story, which is weird, but it kind of makes sense if you've played the game at all or watched any videos. Sifu, the game that asks you to lay the whole down on all the people of all sizes without asking any questions as to even if they belong in this freaking evil group in the first place that you're trying to take or exact revenge upon. A game that is somewhat of a pioneer in its certain gameplay systems because of its interesting take on the challenging genre of fighting. We've all come to love so deeply over the course of this and the last and even the console generation before that. Now, Kung Fu is the name of the game, but this is a beat-em-up game that takes challenge to the next level, as you are not given infinite opportunities to clear a level like you might in some other games, but instead a finite amount of retries to master the art of Kung Fu. On top of this, there's this very cool but also a little bit weird system in the game where if you die, you age. But I feel everyone who knows anything about Sifu knows of this system. So should Sifu be the main course game you play while you juggle a few other games on the side? Or is this one of the side juggleable games on the side? Man, I just made up a word. That makes no sense. Also, is Sifu fun to play? So subscribe if you're new and let's get into why more games should be like Sifu. Now kicking things off quite literally, the combat works Oh my god. The way the combat works in this game is as in its core, at its core. Oh my goodness gracious. Kicking things off. I filmed this 15 times. I can't get this right. Kicking things off quite literally. I might say how the combat works in this game. And as it's a, at its core, a beat em up kind of game. Then of course you have to beat everyone up to the best of your ability. In your way, you have men and women, both big and small, and sometimes carrying some ornaments that try and either poke you or slice you in half. Their job is to slow your way towards extracting the greatest revenge known to man. The one thing that Sifu does really well, and I mean really well, broski, something that a lot of other games should take note of, first of all, but also I don't really see it all that often in modern day gaming especially, and that's the use of colors and the overall overall level design and storytelling in the game and how well everything just gels together. Now anyone who knows me, of course, knows how much I love being just sucked into the world of gaming, no diddy, and just being immersed to the maximum and while most levels in Sifu are just run of the mill warehouses, the use of color in this game is on a level of its own. This is super evident in the latter levels of the game but more especially in the museum level for example because it just ends up looking super cool. I know most people tend to talk about the death system in the game and how cool that is but i don't think enough credit is given to how well the art style of the game just works broski i think that's the real thing that really sets sifu apart from other games instead of the death system which is cool i do have to admit as come on every time you die you age and the game effectively just gets more and more difficult as a result until you are senile and you die personally i think while a cool mechanic it does end up being a bit more frustrating by the end because the latter levels are just super difficult so having limited lives and being slow, which means you they do what you can do more damage on you and you deal more damage, but still it is frustrating because if you die once, you die in real life. <laughs> and that's coming from a person who played this game on easy. Now, beat em up games aren't a new thing at all either, as it's been a thing since forever. Like I remember Tech and Tag Tournament, I think one or two had that beat em up mode to it, and we used to play that a lot and as well back in the PS1 and PS2 era of gaming. There was an absolute ton of beat-em-up games like that. Like, I remember playing a PS1 game called Legend. Man, that game was so good. I used to play that with my older brother. Man, if you've played that game or you know that game, subscribe to the channel, man. You are eternal broski for that. Also, more recently, that we had games like Absolver, which is essentially the same game, but without the same kind of aging mechanic implemented. What makes Sifu stand out is its storytelling, because you really are this unnamed dude or dudette who is hell-bent on on hunting down these people who did your family the biggest injustice. And I think the metric 
shit ton of other games could learn a thing or two from the way Sifu tells its story. Like, bro, there is no lore dump, no cutscenes apart from just a few minor ones, as well as the opening segment to the game, and no dramatic dialogue in the game. There's just you and your fists, and of course the enemy's faces you swing the aforementioned fists on. It just works. Now while there are a bunch of combos to learn with light, heavy and grab attacks, I'll be very honest in saying bro, button mashing all of the buttons together or just two of the buttons, it works just as well. You whittle down the enemy's forces all the same, it just makes it either look cooler or not so cool but you still progress. There are quite a few upgrades to learn as well and it functions really well with this kind of pick your own poison type of system where you can either unlock them for this specific run and if you spend some extra XP you can unlock them permanently and I personally love that kind of thing in gaming because it gives you the opportunity to first test out and see if you even use these attacks in your normal combo rotations. Now I really like it when games give you this option to kind of testing things out before spending the extra XP or coins to unlock. Another thing I saw people complain about a lot is the difficulty and how frustrating it can be and like I've already mentioned before in this video I played this game on easy because yeah I play on limited time per week trying to make these videos and just enjoy gaming in general on top of my IRL stuff. Playing it on easy was also a bit difficult. There is this added easiness to it where you're aging but you're not losing retries. You can retry as many times as you want but you are aging over the course of the game. But yeah I gotta say it very honestly man the game kicked my ass and while I would love to be able to say I learned to beat the game fair and square I did resort to just changing the difficulty to personally just get more enjoyment out of the game in general. Kind of like how I use summons in Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Insert ad here and would you look at that there's a video up there in that corner of Shadow of the Earth Tree and how I enjoyed that game or if I enjoyed that game click to watch it after this one but anyway let's get back the big question that is no doubt in everyone's mind or the two questions I should I should say at this moment in time and it's the reason for pretty much clicking the video in the first place is the game fun first of all but also should this be your main game or a side game to play on the side now the answer to the first question is pretty obvious but I think it does come with fine print as well as I do find the game a ton of fun to play but only after changing the difficulty and I have to be very honest with that if you enjoy super challenging games where you have to be on top of your game all the time and you have the time and resources to put into learning the systems and really enjoy the game fully and you would love this game to absolute bits the, the amount of combos the amount of skills the amount of different ways you can take down enemies awesome it just it feels like every run is different but again i don't play in that kind of time man i'm old i'm 31 i'm approaching the middle of my life which is weird <laughs> as for if this game should be your main game or your side game i would like to maybe put it more on the side game side of things but also i do want to mention that this is one of the most fun side games i have played in recent memory bro i love jumping off dragon's dogma no diddy for a bit of just time to lay the schmackage of the downage on random people in a freaking nightclub it's just so satisfying to string together combos of all kinds and just wreck havoc in general i feel as a main game this would be a rather frustrating experience for some and i do see why that might be the case but man, as a game you play for like 30 minutes at a time, just pure fun. Now there are some moments admittedly where you feel cheated on and some boss fights in the game look cool as hell but maybe felt a bit more frustrating at times because there isn't the same kind of randomness as you'd find in the regular mob fights because it's just more memorizing the boss's moves that just keep getting faster and faster with some extra damage in there somewhere. It wouldn't be an issue normally but as the game being built the way it is, you might be on your last life before having to restart the whole game because you got cheated on by a freaking boss and what's even worse sometimes you might just be old enough to be to have to that you um you had you 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 start the whole run again because you just can't hack it now i get that some of you might be thinking well duh that's the whole idea of the game and to that one person i say this well i got nothing to say because i played it on easy and i enjoyed the game that way you might enjoy it your own way hey man we uh, hey i can't they say nothing about that hey hey try me a river with your infinite restarts of the game anyways i do want to hear your thoughts on the game 
game in the comments down below. I do want to hear what you think of seafood or seafood. And if you liked it, if there's some notes or any other games that you want me to cover on this channel, please do let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel Loso. I'd really appreciate it, man. We are growing slowly but steadily, but I am thankful for each and every one of you likes and comments and subscribes and subscriptions. My English ain't my main language, so apologies. Anyway, I've been your boy. I don't know how to end this video, so here's a random meme that I created on Instagram or TikTok where you should be following as well. So, man, see you guys in the next upload. Hasta frontizable.